Hey! Hey, Fash. It's the 20th of March. Spring has sprung. Can you hear, hear the little birds and stuff out there? I got woodpeckers. I got sparrows. I got robins. I got, man, all kinds of life out there today. And it's cold. <laughs> Squirrels running around everywhere. There's still like two feet of snow on the ground. It's freezing cold. And I pulled this up as a random Bible verse just a few minutes ago. So I went on over and I read uh, Luke 3. And these are the generations of Jesus. All the way to Adam. And it's very interesting, man. Because so many things, I believe, are coming, you know, into view to be revealed historical things factual historical things you know it just when i piece all this stuff together it's it's really really strange you know between the um the dead sea scrolls being in uh denver right the dead sea scrolls are all in denver and yesterday was the uh the day that the denver international airport capstone was installed as of yesterday which i'm assuming that was probably the day of the uh the spring equinox okay so we got this the dead sea scrolls and there was something else that led me to denver other than the fact that it was the March 19th, 23 years, by the way, well, 24 now, just turned 24. You saw the picture of Anubis here that a, a commenter left a link to this, and I want to thank him, but I forget who it was. And let me quiet down. Some of these birds are just actually annoying, you know? And uh, so Anubis encircled New York. It was like guided around the waterways of New York on March 23rd in 2010. Which, you know, at first when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I remember that. That was weird. But then I saw the suitcase and I remembered that they had this giant suitcase with them. And it reminded me of the Denver airport where they have all these creepy things like gargoyles in suitcases, demons all over the place, weirdness galore. I mean, this place is just off the hook weird. And, you know, the, the Dead Sea Scrolls with certain scrolls that have never been seen happen to be locally shown right now. And there's just too much weirdness going on. I mean, every time I open the news... This is the first thing I see this morning. Look at that. The skull and bones. You know, but they just, oh, it's just the Jolly Roger. It's skull and bones. Fifteen years ago, I helped start a war that hasn't ended. Why would this come out today? Because this war started back in 2003 in Iraq. And they say themselves in this article, the case for the invasion was thin or rather it was thick meaning thick with lies we now know filled with faulty intelligence half truths and a fervor for war do you understand this was all they tell you right in your face right in your face how many do you know anybody that died over there or contracted some just wicked illness that just haunted them how many have committed suicide okay when this guy who was only 24 with his other 23 crewmen okay were sent into this pit for no reason other than that these elitist satan worshiping freaks could get their little artifacts in the land okay and this and it's not going to stop you're, you're looking at this taking fold again right before your eyes today. 
And it's the same story behind it. False pretenses, lies, nothing more than power grabs, and these satanic... I mean, it's just insane, people. If you don't see this stuff by now, I don't know what to tell you. I got a kick out of this one, right? Brennan, if you if you guys don't remember Brennan, John Brennan was CIA chief. He was he was many things, but he said this yesterday or the day before yesterday to Trump in a tweet, and that's not all he said. I mean, listen to what this guy said. When the full extent of your venality, moral turpitude, and political corruption becomes known, you will take your rightful place as a disgraced demagogue in the dustbin of history, wrote Mr. Brennan, whom Mr. Trump once called one of the biggest liars and leakers in Washington. You may scapegoat Andy McCabe, but you will not destroy America. America will triumph over you. And it came right into my spirit. Triumph over you. And I put triumph over Trump. And I get an I and an H. And what that told me almost immediately, because I know a little bit about Mr. Brennan here, who happened to be the station chief in Saudi Arabia when uh, the uh, Kobar Towers were bombed, killing 19 servicemen. And he was the Saudi Arabian chief, right before 9-11. If you're not aware of the Saudi Arabian part in 9-11, I don't know what to tell you. I ain't got time. But these are the things that are happening all over again. It's a show. It's, it's a giant stage. And these men just play out their parts, believing that they are, in fact, destined to be these king-type figures and, and uh, be wealthy and powerful. It's just... It's an illusion. It's a lie. The world is a lie. Satan has domain over the world. And if you ad adhere to his lies, in other words, not to God's word, not to what Jesus told us, you are a victim of the world. He has got his mitts on you. These two guys here, I mean, I just thought it was extremely interesting. Brennan and Trump both were... Uh, alumni of none other than Fordham University. And if you're not familiar with Fordham University, it is a Jesuit institution. And being a Jesuit, okay, it's it's kind of like being a cucumber, right? And then you make it into a pickle, you pickle it. Well, once you do that, you can never make it back into a cucumber again. These two fellas are alumni and they don't forget this is just the way it works people this is very very tricky and sneaky this world I mean you got to be aware of this stuff and it's all a deception just like this was and they're about to do it again so your sons and daughters can go die for what I mean seriously for what the Brits can die for from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Just look at the, the what they put in front of your face. The hand in the jacket, the whole nine yards. <laughs> Updated 1149, 1113, 23. I just see this stuff, you guys. But this right here just screamed at me. We're going back to war. And it's not going to be like Iraq. Where we can sit and watch it on TV. Watch them lie to us about what happened. This is coming to your doorstep. So you better get right with God. Seek Jesus today. All you need to do is look around this world. I mean, seriously. It doesn't take long at all. I mean, the daily news is not getting any brighter. Nine-year-old boy, point blank, murders his sister over a video game controller. You know, I mean, this, this is just normal. Another weird thing, though, that goes with this Trump and the triumph thing. This, this is just, I hope I'm not confusing you people, but this is all connected. And it brought me back to the, uh, the Arch of Triumph that was displayed proudly in the, uh, grounds of the, uh, city 
city capital there, whatever, city, city hall, for a full week, starting on September 19th of 2016. Arch of Triumph. Trump. Also known as the Arch of Baal. Okay? This thing was proudly displayed. Let's take a look. I haven't looked at this yet. This this was placed on the 19th and it ran through the 20th of that month. So to today, let's go to today. Let's see, we get 547 days to today. 13,000 hours. Um, you know, we could make all kinds of things out of it if we want. We can make a 9-11. You know, we can make, turn that upside down, 9-11. I mean, every day from this point on, period, is a day to be with Jesus and to seek him diligently. It's that important. It truly is. If you haven't accepted him yet, and I know you're out there, please, please humble yourself in a quiet place and then ask him, for the truth okay these men are bringing us to war to war and this guy here Brennan don't forget he was behind the creation and development of the drone program which is so far and beyond what you know of it these predator drones these killing machines that they just wipe out innocent blood constantly with constantly these, these predators and whatnot are nothing compared to what they have prepared for this world. And that is just a fact. So get right with God. It really is that simple. Once that Holy Spirit dwells in you, I'm telling you what. No fear, no doubt, no insecurity. Power. So put on that armor. Okay? It's so important. Because they're taking us back to that place. And this time, it's going to be in our backyards. Pray that you're worthy to escape these terrible things that are coming on the earth. Through Jesus Christ. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,